Welcome to LA Now, your Los Angeles County news source. Paving the way to a smoother commute with new truck lanes, we'll tell you where. And awe-inspiring technology is giving new hope at Rancho Los Amigos. Plus, the Sheriff's Department shows off its high-tech ocean surveillance vessel. LA Now starts right now. And thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Deneau. Traffic Relief is heading to the New Hall Pass. One, two, three. Supervisor Michael D'Antonovich was on hand for the recent groundbreaking of truck lanes through the New Hall Pass to Santa Clarita. The lanes will separate big rigs from regular traffic in the heavily commuted corridor. Metro and Caltrans are teaming up to complete the $72 million project. So this uh, truck lane is a very necessary project. It's a 20 more, 24 month construction project. And as a result of this, it's gonna help alleviate a lot of the congestion and the smog that these trucks were creating. And that project will be completed by 2014. The LA County Sheriff's Department not only has the most advanced and state-of-the-art machinery on land, they also have it by sea. Introducing the Ocean Rescue 2. Docked in Long Beach, the Sheriff Ocean Rescue 2 has been patrolling and protecting our coast since 2007. This 56-foot multi-mission bad boy does what most vessels only dream of. It has a, a nuclear radiation detection uh, capability, uh, and we partner up with our hazmat detail. Uh, they actually run the uh, computer systems that analyzes everything. They can not just not only tell you that there's a radiation source nearby, they can tell you exactly what that radio, radiation source is. Depending on the mission, the Rescue 2 primarily partners with other local law enforcement agencies, and it's always staffed with a minimum of three deputy sheriffs who are all certified paramedics. It also has full uh, navigation capability where we can take it out in any weather, uh, darkness, fog, zero visibility, and we can get from here to Catalina to the Outer Islands with it. And to give these guys eyes below the water, they have this ROV, or remote operating vehicle, with a camera aboard. This thing can go down up to 1,700 feet. It's a dive platform for us where we can do uh, evidence uh, recovery, body recoveries, uh, raise uh, evidence from ships that have gone down, planes that have gone down. The Sheriff's Department is in the process of building a third ocean rescue vessel. These boats became a viable and necessary resource after 9-11. And the Sheriff's Department hopes to have Ocean Rescue 3 in the water by 2013. The Department of Beaches and Harbors is helping wheelchair users enjoy the beach. Now the department loans beach access wheelchairs at nine local beaches. The wheelchairs are designed to navigate the sand without any problems and you will be required to leave a photo ID and in some cases your personal wheelchair as well. Uh, we have beach wheelchairs up and down the coast and on a hot summer day we can have uh, people check them out all day long. Uh, on average two to three times a week, but in hot summer days they, we can have people checking them out ever, on a daily basis. For more information or to find a beach wheelchair near you, go to the website on your screen and search beach wheelchairs. Rancho Los Amigos takes new steps to help ensure their patients will walk again. Reporter Amy Lopez has more. 37-year-old Agnes Fiardi has dreamt of walking after suffering devastating injuries in a car accident in her native Hungary. And the other car is came to my door and I just fell out from the car. She sustained a spinal cord injury that left her paralyzed from the waist down, yet she remained determined to walk again. That was very emotional, it was very incredible, and and it, it's, I just feel my, the device is very strong. It supports me very, very well. Today is a very exciting day here at Rancho Los Amigos Rehab Center because they are the first and only hospital in the Western United States to receive the ArgoMed Technologies Rewalk System for its patients. 
we are leaders in rehabilitation um, nationally and internationally. So we have always um, been on the cutting edge of finding ways to help people recover from these types of injuries. Rewalk candidate Julio Caro is optimistic about walking again. You want to stay positive throughout your whole injury and then when you hear about things like this, I mean, it just gives you hope. It gives you a new, another light to see that, you know, there is someone out there trying to get you vertical again and trying to have you walk again. And it's, it's great, you know, it's just an amazing feeling. <laughs> We're going to uh, study this for a year to make sure that our hypothesis that it improves health and prevents complications and really gives people the kind of social and psychological boost that we think it will is true. And if it's true, we expect that about that time the FDA will have approved it to be used at home. Fayardi's eyes speak volumes. Just never gave up. Never. For LA Now, I'm Amy Lopez. And Rancho Los Amigos is the only hospital worldwide to receive two donated rewalk systems for their service to the underserved. And Rancho's rewalk system brought a lot of media attention to the celebrated rehabilitation center. All the local news stations were on hand, and the story also ran on 15 other TV stations across the country. In all, it was watched by more than 500,000 people nationwide. Rancho continues to rank in the top 10% in patient satisfaction. The Housing Resource Center has a website that can help put a roof over your head. Now the website is a valuable resource for county residents that are looking for a home. It has features for county departments, residents, and property owners, and it complements LA County Helps and 211 LA County. Now in addition, there is a bilingual call number and special links for seniors and veterans. For more information, go to the website on your screen. The Bug Fair is creeping back into the Natural History Museum this month. Now the fair is taking place May 19th and 20th and is the museum's most popular weekend by far. It brings in hundreds of bug enthusiasts over the two-day event. Now this is the year of the fly, but you can also nuzzle a millipede or cradle a centipede or even touch a tarantula. And the Bug Chef is back by popular demand, so you can enjoy a crunchy snack while you enjoy the fair. For more information, go to the website on your screen. And that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. Watch us online anytime on LACountyChannel.com. And please stay tuned for a list of websites featured on our show. And we'll see you next time on LA Now.